morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning and I just feel like I've been such a flop this morning. So if you watched my vlog from last week, you would know that on the weekend I got a really, really sore neck and I went, had to go to the physio and I think it was called like a rye neck or something. Apparently it's very common, but I just woke up on Saturday morning and I couldn't move my neck to the left. And so I had a heat pack on it like pretty much all weekend. I got two massages from the physio and he said that if it wasn't feeling better this morning, then to probably get another appointment today. But I have woken up and it's feeling a little bit better. Definitely not like 100%, but I feel like I'm like this close to being 100%. But because because of that my weekend I don't know no, it wasn't ruined but I just like felt really gross my whole weekend I didn't get anything productive done like at all I think partly working from home for myself I get very in my head about when to rest and when to work and I feel like every youtuber says that but it's really really true so I'm just gonna put this on my neck while I talk because it's hurting so I just kind of took this morning really really slow I slept in a little bit I woke up at like 6 30 I think I had my quiet time in bed I also just feel like my life has not stopped for like a whole month and I'm just slowly losing it. I was sick for like three weeks and then I moved house and then something really serious happened in my personal life and I've been dealing with that for the past couple of weeks and last week I was like almost finally feeling like I was on top of everything and then I wake up and I can't turn my neck. I know it's just like little things but it's really like frustrating and I'm just finding it really hard to like stay positive and just like keep going when things just like keep hitting me back but also I definitely think it's a control thing. I enjoy having control in my own life not over like others necessarily or situations but just having control over my life. I think for so so long God has just been teaching me to let go of my control and like give that to him and I feel like for the past like month I've just been like yeah I'll do this and I'll fix it I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll fix every situation that I'm in instead I should be like sitting back giving like my worries and my stresses and my situations over to God and let him kind of take control and I just feel like he's continuously teaching me this like last week I was like yeah I did that I did that all by myself I got through my really hard time everything's all good I I'm so good and then I wake up and I can't turn my neck and I don't know I kind of just feel like God's like okay so like who's in control tell me again I don't know I could be going crazy but I'm just trying to work through that work on that but I'm gonna get to work for the day enjoy a little work montage I feel like I haven't ticked off that many things off my to-do list, but the things I have ticked off, they were the big things and the things that I were dreading doing. So I'm super glad that they're all done. But I am now heading out to run a quick little errand. I think I might get a coffee while I'm out. Do you want one? No, that's okay. Just as a little pick-me-up. I don't know where our cups are in this kitchen. Oh, here it is. But that's pretty much the sitch. Not really very much exciting stuff happening. Can I please grab a caramelized fusion in my Zarephus tumbler cup with no cream, please? All right, drive on through. Thank you. on charge over on my drawers so I can't sleep in tomorrow and I'm gonna set my alarm for 5.30. I have heated up my heat pack and I'm gonna go to sleep with this on my neck and hopefully feel okay tomorrow morning. <laughs> Obviously it's gonna cool down really soon but I'm gonna go to bed and I will chat to you tomorrow. <laughs> It is now Tuesday and it is almost 7.30. Rachel and I went to a PT session this morning. I only went to be like moral support for Rachel because my neck's still quite sore. Um, but my PT just made me join in anyway. So I ended up working out this morning. I was so, so sweaty. But I'm going to make some breakfast. And while I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to pack my lunch for work later today. So that once I go upstairs, I can shower and then I can just get to work before I have to actually go to work.
Hello, I apologize if you can't. Hello. Hello friends, it is ah. Hello friends, it is now 6 p.m. and I just finished work for the day. Apologies if you can't actually hear me properly because I'm blaring my air con because I'm so hot and sweaty. Working the closing shift in hospitality, if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know I'm not the only one. It's honestly disgusting. Like everything is so greasy, everything's so dirty and we just have to clean it all up. And honestly, it just sucks. But anyway, I've just hopped in my cart and I'm about to drive to family dinner. And that's about all that I really have to tell you. I'm going to shuffle Lave's album. He's coming out with a new album in like three days and I'm so excited. Talk to you later. Hello. <laughs> hey, mister. This lighting is awful because of the red table. Floor. My little brother, Alec, went to Sydney recently and he got me a souvenir. So. Oh, what? They're so cute. Legend. I got little earrings with wabash on them. I just heated up my heat pack and I'm going to go to sleep with this resting on my neck because I think after a big day, my neck is a little bit sore. Definitely better than it has been, but definitely not where it used to be. So I'm going to keep keeping heat on it until I guess it's back to its normal state. I work early tomorrow morning, so I'll see you then. Good morning, it is now Wednesday, it's almost 7.30 and I'm about to head into work. I am so tired, my body is like struggling today, I'm so sore. But I have a really quick shift today, I'm finishing at 2, so good. Um, And then I have gym, I have to go to shop and I have to do a bunch of things tonight. Before Beck is coming over and having dinner with Rachel and I, I'm so excited. The only thing getting me through, such a busy day. But I'm going to go to work, make some coffees, drink some coffees and I'll talk to you after. I just got home from work. Well, really, technically, I got home and I laid on my floor and just complained about how tired I am and how much I don't want to go to the gym. But I've got myself dressed. Actually, I'm about to chuck the shirt on. I'm wearing a new workout shirt to uh, help motivate me to go to the gym. It still has all the tags on it and everything. But I picked up this shirt the other day from Nike and I love it. I just have to chuck my shoes on. I think I'm gonna make some pre-workout because I am so tired. So this is my outfit. Obviously my t-shirt is from Nike and I have my like pink Nike sports bra underneath. These black tights are from Kmart. They're the only ones that I kept from my video where I wore Kmart activewear for a week. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. Um, But yeah, these are so comfy and really, really good. I think they're like 18 bucks or something crazy. And then I just have my Nike all black runners on. I'm gonna grab my gym bag and go get this done. I just really don't wanna go. <sighs> All right, let's go get some pre-workout. but I absolutely just died. You guys know that I go to like a PT group fitness thing a couple times a week, but today was the first time I've been to the gym and actually done a workout on my own in like months, I think. I went in kind of knowing that I wasn't gonna like it, but I actually surprised myself and really enjoyed it. I don't think I'll enjoy it more than one-on-one -on -one PT sessions or like group fitness, but it was definitely good and it's nice to like change up your scenery instead of doing the same thing every day. But that was just a session my PT wrote up for me. So obviously I'm not a PT, I don't know what I'm doing, um, but I'm just like sharing. 
sharing with you guys what I did today. But it is now 5 p.m. Did not realize it was so late. I spent a whole hour in there. So I'm gonna post a couple things on my Instagram story and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I always love going grocery shopping after I work out, after I do something physical, because it's the one time where I never wanna buy junk food because I feel like what I did was just such a waste. So yeah, I've got a big grocery list on my phone of things I need to grab. The lighting is awful, so I apologize for that, but I'm gonna give you a really quick grocery haul before we start cooking dinner for Beck. So I have to be very quick. But I got some frozen fruit, so I got mango, pineapple, and some mixed berries. I also got some things for my smoothie. So I got some almond milk and I got some vanilla yogurt. And for my coffees, I got some caramel syrup and some milk. As for fresh produce, I got a massive bag of apples. And I also got some spinach and some iceberg lettuce. A bag of grapes. I haven't had a bag of grapes in so long. Whoa, oh, that was a good one. Too good. I got a red capsicum and a little cucumber as well to put in my wraps. And I got some chicken. I got some bread. I got these. Are these? This is the brand you get. I got a pack of the nice and natural chocolate nut bars. I also bought some Carmen's Crispy Deluxe Roasted Nut Date and Cinnamon Muesli. Now that I have a Nutribullet back in my life, I've started making smoothies. And I want to start having smoothie bowls with some muesli. So... I got these. I forgot to mention these before, but I also got some little snacking tomatoes. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'm not a big tomato fan. But these sweet snacking tomatoes are so good, and I love having them cut in half in my wraps and salad. I got some eggs. I got some cheese. I got some butter, and I got some frozen chicken. Don't judge me, but, like, my goal and my plan is to just try to stop eating out. So as long as I'm eating at home, I'm happy and achieving my goal for now. So this is better than, like, having a Macca's chicken burger, if you know what I mean. I also got this little boost juice, and I drank it on the way home. It's very, very pear-y. I feel like you can't call it. It should be called pear something. Mm. I do agree. I also got a packet of hair ties because I literally own one. I lose it very often. So I got this. Hair ties are expensive. Yeah. And you can't buy smaller packets than this. I also got some skincare. Sukin was actually half price at Coles this week. So I picked up a calming night cream for sensitive skin, which I've been wanting for so long, but it's 20 bucks. So I just didn't want to commit to that, but it was 10 bucks this week. So I picked this one up and I also spontaneously got an eye serum. I'm going to quickly put all of this away and then Beck is going to be here and I'll just update you a bit later on. We've got the meat cooking the cheese grating and this is what our spread is looking like I'm so hungry I'm so excited I'll hand it over Ooh. Ooh. I feel like the father of the house Thursday. I haven't talked to you all morning, but it is, oh, I guess it's only 9 a.m., but I feel like I have done so much and not updated you on anything. So this morning, Rachel and I went to a little boxing class with our PT at 6 a.m. My whole body is so sore, and I have a one-on-one -on -one PT session tomorrow, so I am dreading that. I had breakfast, and then I've just meal prepped all of the groceries I bought yesterday. So this is what my meal prep looks like. I've got a big container of spinach and some iceberg lettuce. Normally, I buy, like, the full iceberg lettuce so I don't have to buy this in plastic, but they were $4.50 this week week and also there was like three of them left and they were all like this big so I just picked up some shredded lettuce and hopefully this lasts me as long as it normally does I'm a bit iffy about buying it in a packet but we'll see how that goes I also cooked up some chicken and just seasoned it with some paprika so it has a little bit of taste I also diced up some capsicum and some cucumber and I grated up some carrot as well so every morning before work I just get out my wrap and then I chuck all of this in there and then wrap it up and I'm good to go now that milk prep is done I'm so glad it's out of the way I've done all the dishes as well and I've tidied up the kitchen I'm gonna put all this food away and jump in the shower my hair is so gross and then i think i'm just gonna spend literally all day editing this is my really boring outfit i feel like i dress like such a boy today i have on this khalid t-shirt that i bought from his concert last year i like it because it's really really basic and then it just has a tiny little khalid thing there and then obviously all the dates and stuff in the back if you can see i have on these jeans from cotton on i feel like they're not very flattering but they're so comfy and then i just have my mustard vans on and i don't wear these very often but i feel like because it's a pretty plain outfit i can get away with it <laughs> i've decided
decided that I'm going to pack up all of my stuff and go to Zarafas and edit there because I haven't done it in a while and I love to just change up my scenery. So that's the plan. <laughs> bit of an update for you it is 1 47 so i need to walk into work in like three minutes um i'm scoffing down a coffee at the moment and i just had a little bit of a snack to eat i realized that i'm not gonna have my break until really late tonight and i haven't eaten enough which i'm really mad about but not really much i can do about it now um but i had a really productive editing session at Zarafa's. i got a vlog finish it's exporting at homes so hopefully tonight when i come home i can upload it and then tomorrow morning i can schedule it for tomorrow afternoon which is so good i got all of my emails done and and now I'm heading to my actual day job. I'm working until 9.30 tonight, but hopefully the shift won't go too badly. Fingers crossed. Good morning, friends. It is now Saturday morning and it is just past 7 a.m. And I just finished up my workout class for the morning. That was my fifth workout of the week done. And the fourth time this week working out at 6 a.m. So I am so tired. My body is actually so sore. Like, I really, really struggled that whole entire session. Even my PT could tell. He was like, you're fatigued. And I was like, yes, I'm in so much pain. In the plan that my PT has given me, I do have a gym workout to do tomorrow. But I'm just going to wake up and see how I go tomorrow. Because honestly, I don't think I can do it. Right now, just holding my camera camera up is hurting my shoulder. I chucked on this little hoodie and I'm gonna go into Zarafa's and get a coffee and get some editing done. Um, I just figured if I go home and I shower and then I go and get my laptop, I'm just wasting so much time. Um, I get too carried away at home so I've just come out to Zarafa's I'm gonna get some editing done. Working out literally changes everything. Like, it's kind of mean but I get a lot of comments and Instagram DMs from people saying how are you working out five days a week and your like physical body doesn't change and I just like wanted to touch on it because not everyone is working out to lose weight. Some people are. I am. But that is my own journey. And whether I'm succeeding or failing is honestly none of your business. But even if you're not trying to lose weight, working out literally has just changed my entire life. After I work out, it changes my whole mental perspective. And like right now, I would still be in bed probably just getting up, having a really slow morning, showering, getting ready, and then getting to work. Whereas this morning, I woke up 5.30, got to the gym by 6, and I'm now at a coffee shop at 7, ready to go in and edit. I don't know how to explain it, and I don't really know what I'm talking about. Out. but I'm just so so happy that I have an outlet where I can really just push myself and it sets me up for a really good day and really good week and it has been the best thing for my mental health ever like ever 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 and I also just feel like something has really switched in my brain this week it could be from starting up one-on-one -on -one PT sessions because I set up an app where he can see if I'm doing my workouts or not and he can see what I'm eating so I just have to track all of my food and my workouts and I could just like not track them or just say I'm eating it but I'm not but like I have a conscience and I can't lie to people it's a blessing and a curse but just having that little bit of accountability from someone who genuinely wants to see you succeed and hit your goals is so encouraging and it's so motivating so I feel like that's kind of just like switched in my head and that's what I've been needing this whole time but I just never reached out and like asked for more help I know that having a PT is really expensive but if you are feeling like you're in the same boat as me I would really really recommend getting a PT who can kind of like go along in life with you and help you with your food help you with your um goals and your fitness as well I don't think I could have a PT who's like just there for the fitness and that's it I need someone there to be like accountable to answer all these questions I have and to help me with my food as well I'm just so happy I'm this is the longest chat I've ever had about fitness but and for so long I feel like I can't be the person to talk about fitness because I'm not like I don't have a body where you'd look at me and be like oh yeah she's fit <laughs> but I work out five days a week I'm loving it and I'm finally getting on top of my food so I'm really excited to start seeing some actual changes happening and obviously I'm gonna bring you guys along as well but with putting your fitness journey online people have so 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 many opinions literally every grocery haul I post some Someone has something bad to say. I don't know. I just want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys along for everything so you feel encouraged by what I'm doing because I'm being encouraged by other people. But also talking about health and fitness, there's such like a large area for people to give me hate on, which is really, really scary. And yeah, I would just appreciate all your love and support. But anyway, that's my little ramble for the morning. I'm going to go into Zarafa's, get my coffee. I'm so excited. Enjoy the Zarafa's montage.
Sunday and I've had a really good morning honestly. I've spent pretty much this whole weekend by myself which on one hand was really really good. I think I needed some time to myself but I'm also like so sad and I don't know what to do with myself but I'm about to head off to my grandma's house and hang out with my family for a bit this afternoon before I head to church. Normally I have Bible study on at 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoons but this week we're taking a week off so I get to spend a little bit more time with my family which I'm honestly really excited about and then I have church tonight so I have to be there at 4 45 because I'm on welcoming but yeah just the usual Sunday night thing. I'll quickly show you my outfit before I go. I have on this button up blouse from Princess Polly. I love the little sleeves on the side so cute and then I have these black skinny jeans on from Cotton On and this little bag is also from Princess Polly. It's a Peter and Jane bag. I've got my church notebook and I've got my bible and I'm ready to go.